Judy Culp can tell you in great detail what having atrial fibrillation or an irregular heartbeat feels like. It feels like a middle school kid who wants to be a drummer in the band but has no sense of rhythm and just wails away. Prior studies show atrial fibrillation is known to be common in older patients and associated with an increased risk of death. So Dr. David Conan from University Hospital in Basel, Switzerland and co-authors wanted to study the risk factors for relatively healthy middle-aged women with no prior heart disease who developed AFib. Even in a very low-risk group of women who did not have overt cardiovascular disease at baseline, there was an increased risk of death and adverse events in those women who developed atrial fibrillation during follow-up. Researchers, including Dr. Christine Albert from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, studied almost 35,000 participants in the Women's Health Study, following them for about 16 years. Much of this risk can be explained by by cardiac events that occur between the time you are diagnosed with atrial fibrillation and the death. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. These data suggest that through aggressive risk factor control, uh, such as uh, treating hypertension or uh, intercurrent cardiovascular events aggressively, one might uh, prevent some of these deaths among women with atrial fibrillation. We really do need to focus also on preventing atrial fibrillation. If we can prevent it from happening in the first place, then we can prevent the risk of death that's associated with it. Judy was prescribed medication and then underwent ablation therapy like this, which uses heat to suppress the source of the impulses associated with triggering the atrial fibrillation. I feel fantastic. I haven't had any symptoms. The difference of not knowing what's going to happen from day to day to feeling great is wonderful. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.